three weeks into his new role as California Attorney General, Rob Bonta is hitting the ground running with a possible break in Sean Monterosa's case. What has happened is there has been inaction, and uh, this case deserves action, deserves uh, for the review process to be completed uh, to the end, whatever that end is. So uh, the Department of Justice will take it from here. As we've reported, the shooting happened on June 2nd last year during a protest of the police shooting of George Floyd. Vallejo officers say Sean Monterosa was crouching down, moving his hands toward his waist, revealing what appeared to be the butt of a handgun. It turned out to be a hammer. No officers have been formally charged. I'm recusing myself and our office from reviewing the two recent officer-involved fatal incidents in the city of Vallejo involving Willie McCoy, and Sean Monterosa. That's what Solano County District Attorney Krishna Abrams said only a month after the shooting. We need to build trust. We need to earn trust. The way to earn trust is to, to do the job uh, Im impartially and fairly. And uh, that could have been done here in Solano County by the Solano County District Attorney, but it was not. We reached out to the Solano County DA's office for a response, but haven't heard back yet. Monterosa's family released this new statement saying they are grateful an independent investigation will finally be conducted. They say it feels incredibly meaningful to finally receive the respect our family and Sean deserved these past nearly 12 months.